Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a long awaited video, maybe more awaited on my part to find some time to film it. But today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my decision to do a low buy year and why and how I stopped shopping and why I'm going to stop shopping for the year of 2019. So I've done a little bit of sharing about this on social media already on my Instagram. I'm at Style Apotheca. I'll leave it down below. Come check it out. That's where I post every single day. Shameless plug. But since January 1st, I have not shopped. Today is March 9th, 2019, and I still have not shopped for any clothing, any housewares, any makeup, any skincare, any sort of frivolities that I used to shop for constantly. I have not bought a single thing since January 1st and that has been a conscious decision of mine. I'm making it to explain why I decided to do this. You may not have a problem with shopping. I definitely did. This is for people who may be interested in a low buy or a no buy, for people who don't know what it is and they wanna know a little bit more about it for people who are interested in stopping shopping or maybe living a more minimal sustainable lifestyle i think this video can speak to basically anybody who might be interested or if you just want to see how much of a fuck up i've been with shopping for the past like 30 years then keep on watching and in no way is there any pressure to do what i'm doing these are just the rules and reasons that I'm going to be going over that I have made for myself and that I am doing my best to stick to. So if you wanna know how to stop shopping and how I stop shopping impulsively, then keep on watching. I will have timestamps in the description bar down below labeling everything that I'm talking about at what point in the video. So if you don't care about certain points, then you can skip ahead to whatever is relevant to you. So my name is Christina and I am a shopping addict. That is why I decided to do this low buy year. I've tried to do low buys and no shops many times before, but I have always failed. And then I always went on some crazy shopping spree at the end of this. So I have never gone consecutively this amount of time without shopping. And I think it's just because I finally hit a point where I said, I can't stand this anymore. Like whatever rock bottom is, I think I've definitely hit it and that's what got me into gear and made me think I needed to do something extreme and something completely against my behavior that I'm used to and habits that I'm used to for me to finally stop shopping. So I've been inspired to stop shopping um, by a couple of channels on social media actually and I will leave everybody linked down below but Asia Dang, she is a YouTuber and if you don't follow her already you should but she is in the middle of a massive debt repayment plan she's paying back over two hundred thousand dollars in student loans she talks about money in a way that is not taboo and not anything to be ashamed about because I think we all avoid talking about it everyone is really awkward about it and Asia just doesn't give a shit it's really motivating and that has really motivated me to stop shopping the other person that I want to credit for motivating me to stop shopping is another youtuber on here Hannah Louise Poston I discovered her towards maybe the end of December of 2018, and that's when she was finishing up her no buy year. So she did not buy any clothing, housewares, skincare, beauty, anything that was not a need, she did not spend a dime on it for an entire year. Most of the strategies that I'm going to talk about in this video, I did get from Hannah, so if you're interested in her no buy year and now her beauty budget, then check out her channel, I'll leave it linked down below. And then the final person that I am kind of crediting for this whole journey that I'm on is Dave Ramsey. He's basically the financial version of my dad that I needed to be like, figure your shit out and get going. Stop being an idiot, get yourself together. If you wanna check out any of these people, which I highly recommend you do, I will leave it down below. So those are some of the people that are keeping me motivated, but the reason why I decided to do this is because I needed something extreme. Towards the end of 2018, I was spending so frivolously on stuff and just so impulsively, and my whole space was just getting completely overwhelmed with crap. Like, look at all this behind me, these are all coats. Everyone except one of them on this rack is mine. Who needs that much shit? I am a style blogger and it's something that I 
decided to pursue out of passion and I love doing it. But for the longest time, I used it as a reason to get new new shit. And I think coming from a place of wanting my, my Instagram and my blog to succeed, but I was using it as an excuse to shop. And especially on Instagram, and this is why I kind of disclaim all of my styling videos and my haul videos is I was completely triggered by watching YouTube videos and needing that exact piece that the person was wearing in the video because if I didn't if I didn't have that exact piece, I wouldn't look as good as her or I wouldn't feel as good as her and then I wouldn't be as successful as her. This is like the train of thought that I had which I think perpetuated my cycle of compulsive shopping. What I realized is that this stuff, it did not serve any of those purposes. It did not feed my soul. Half of this stuff is still hanging in the closet with its tags on, so I never even took a photo of it for my Instagram. I would find myself scrolling, really in search for inspiration, and don't get me wrong, I do find these social media channels extremely inspiring and I am inspired by different women and people on Instagram and social media every single day but I also would put myself beneath that person that I idealized on Instagram because she had the Chanel purse or the Chloe booth. I kept saying to myself that I wasn't enough until I had that thing but the problem with finally attaining the thing was that there would always be another thing to come after it. I would get some short-term happiness out of it, but the next week I would be on the hunt for something else. If it wasn't, you know, I needed this pair of black booties, it was I need to find the perfect white button-up. And then I would end up with 12 perfect white button-ups in my, in my closet and still on the search for the other one. So it was this perpetual cycle of feeling less than, finding something to covet, acquiring it, and then it's not serving any purpose for me and and then I am just starting to get buried in clothes and stuff that I wasn't using that I was spending my hard-earned money on and I was just going getting completely overwhelmed I couldn't do it anymore so that was sort of towards the end of 2018 and that's when I kind of discovered rediscovered Dave Ramsey and his total money makeover rediscovered Asia Dang and discovered Hannah and I was like okay I can do this too so if you really want some amazing advice on how to start your low buy or your no buy then I would definitely check out Hannah's video I'll leave it linked down below but I took some points from her kind of philosophy and applied it to myself so this is what I did so I'm gonna give you just a break down of some steps to stop shopping and have a successful no buy or low buy year. Step number one is to remember your why. Why is it that you have decided to stop shopping? Is it because of environmental reasons, like you want to reduce waste? Is it financial? Are you in debt? Do you have a student loan that you need to pay off? Do you want to save for an amazing vacation to Europe or something fantastic that you want to save up for but you're spending money on other frivolous shit that's getting in the way? of this main goal or is it something inside is it like it is for me is it something that is about self-love and self-care and comparison are you using shopping as a crutch for that think about your why write it down somewhere you can write it in a in your bullet journal write it on a post-it write it on your mirror make it your phone background Think about your why and look at it every single day. If you have a goal that you want to reach, you have to write it down and by writing it down, it really does make the first step and the steps to come after that so much easier. Reviewing it and going back to that and keeping that in the back of your mind will really set you up for success in your low buy year. So step one is remembering your why. Step two is to write down what items are your problem items. So for me, it was definitely clothing and makeup. So for you, is it clothing? Is it skincare? Is it food, eating out at restaurants? Is it Uber? So write down the things that you think that you want to change. Set some ground rules around purchasing those types of items. For me, clothing was my main problem and is the item that I am focusing on the most in my low buy year. I'm not allowed to acquire any new clothes unless they meet a set of rules that I've set for myself. And you really want to pay attention to the gray areas. So what about gift cards? What about when you run out of your favorite lipstick? Find your areas that are a problem for you and set some rules around how you're going to be shopping for these items 
moving forward. I have like a set of questions that I ask myself before I'm going to buy the thing. And I have started to use these questions in shopping for my groceries, in signing up for a workout class, in deciding if I need to take an Uber or public transit. So it's kind of spilled over into other aspects of my everyday life, which I think is really positive and really helpful. And it's just keeping me mindful of my behaviors and my spending habits in other, in other things besides just shopping for clothes. I think you'll find that as you grow in this low buy, no buy, it's really going to change the way you think and your behavior. So the third thing that I did to help me stop shopping was unsubscribe. For some people, this might not be helpful, but for me, it definitely was. Getting emails would instantly create a sense of haste, like, oh no, I need to get on this now or I'm gonna miss it, or I need to get in on this early or I'm gonna miss out on all the best sizes and colors. So I had to unsubscribe from a lot of those emails. You'll be okay if you don't have that pair of jeans this year. It's not the end of the world, you're not missing out on anything, but I had convinced myself that I had created some sort of status for myself with this company and when really all they were doing was taking my money and ultimately just feeding my addiction and feeding that behavior even more. So that to me was also a turning point where I actually had like a feeling like a ooh, like a flinch at unsubscribing from email chain that I knew you need to stop this. This is a problem. Figure your shit out. Step number four is create a budget. For me, I use the Every Dollar app by Dave Ramsey. This has been a game changer in my shopping behavior. I've made budgets in the past, but never really stuck to them. Remembering my why has kind of forced me to, or motivated me to stick to my budget. So right now, for example, my clothing budget is zero. If you're on a low buy for clothing, then you can do that within your rules. So in step two, you create the rules for yourself in when you're allowed to buy an item versus not buy and what you're eliminating from your shopping habits and what you aren't. You can budget for that accordingly every single month, depending on what you want to buy. And that for me has really helped. It really helped keep me on track. You just see where your money's going. Remembering rule number one, remembering your why. Rule number two, sticking to your ground rules. The budget just helps reinforce that and is a physical and visual place to see where your money is going. For me, the budget has been the absolute game changer. And rule number five is to take an inventory. I had no idea what I had in my closet. My closet is stuffed to the brim and I just had no clue what the hell was in there. See what you have, you don't have to write it down, just take a visual snapshot of what you already own and start using it. So for me with clothing, it really kind of, this all falls into figuring out what your personal style is or curating a wardrobe that reflects the style that you want to achieve. The first step would be to get an idea of what you already own and get an idea of if it's clothing, what you wear all the time, what you love, what you catch yourself wearing multiple times a week. Just declutter, start getting rid of things that you're not wearing. If you haven't worn it for a year, get rid of it. KonMari that shit. So when you know what you already own, when you know what you already have, Chances are when you're out at the mall or shopping online or scrolling Instagram to get some inspiration, you can ask yourself and remind yourself, oh, I have a black blazer already, or I have a pair of straight leg jeans already that I can wear to get the style that I'm looking for. The next time that you catch yourself tempted or that you're shopping and you see an item that you gravitate towards, ask yourself if you have something similar already. And by taking an inventory and a mental note or however detailed you wanna get with it, keep that in the back of your mind. How can I achieve this look using something that I already have? Chances are you don't need the new thing. Chances are you already have something similar in your closet or in your makeup drawer to begin with. So use that first. So that's it. I would call this part one of my how I stop shopping, why I'm doing my low buy year. Let me know if you guys are doing something similar and let me know ways that you keep yourself on track in the comments down below. This is definitely not a one man show. I think if we are all doing this together, we can help each other out 
lift each other up and keep each other motivated. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you have kept yourself on track so far in your low buy. I will be doing more videos on this coming up just because this is something that is always changing for me and I'm always learning something every single day in this low buy year and in this as a recovering shopping addict. So stay tuned for more videos on that and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.